TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 18th of July, 2020, in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. A special thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature two traffic violations and a unique medical situation. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Back by popular demand, the sequel. <laughs> Seek was begun. <laughs> we try and get into some stuff tonight. It's a Saturday night, so it should be pretty good. Yesterday was really busy. Yeah, yeah, it was really busy yesterday. Um, it wasn't too crazy. Just a bunch. Just call after call after call. Thanks. 
mother lives with him. Her, uh, she, her mother lives with him. Her mother lives with him. So her grandmother. Yes. So you know, one of them is going to get you the other to drive the car. So I guess it was a DUI. Good thing he blew though. Yeah, it helped him. Just based on the, yeah. Because he had what, bad ankles or something, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, um. But that, so he did the uh, HGN, HGN test with his eyes. I was, the, uh, he was testing his nystagmus. Okay. So yeah, it seemed like he was doing that for a while. Like maybe yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, that's one of the main, main takers right there, because your eyes. Naturally, we shake when you have alcohol. You're intoxicated. Yeah, whether you're intoxicated or not. Then he did the uh, walk and turn test. That was a, that's another test to, for DUI, and then you did the one legged stand. It's mainly all just for balance. Whether you, yeah. It's a normal, normal person can, can do all these things. Because they've had ankle surgery or something else that affects them. PBT, it's just a general idea whether how much you've had a drink. 0.08 is the legal limit. 0.06. So it's like right under the yeah. Right and, under the limit. And with that, we have the decision whether or not we still want to arrest them or not. Uh, okay. Um, and based just talking to it, the the gentleman there, he, it, he wasn't slurring his words or anything. Yeah. He wasn't really staggering. No, he mostly just seemed yeah. nervous about being stopped. Yeah. A normal person can have one or two beers and be under the legal limit. But does that mean you should drive? Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was a very good demonstration on that. Let's see pink Cadillacs anymore. Pink? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've never seen a pink Cadillac. Oh, I guess movies. I guess because Elvis is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Getting in some some brawls yeah. lately, huh? There will be yeah. There will be one soon. I'm trying to pick up the mental hygiene. One there's one at like three three o'clock. Surprised. Just being wow. But they haven't gotten her yet. <laughs> That's how she was with me yesterday. She was she's coughing with me and listen to me. I mentioned going to the medics, to the hospital, just go to the hospital get checked out. She's like, no, no, I'm not going with them spies or whatever she was saying. <laughs> I was like, well, what if I follow you guys? What if I take you to the hospital? He's like, nope. They're going to test me and, and, th and put something in my body where they can track me. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you involved with that they need to track you? <laughs> she said she, she was getting like documents from the DHS and all these people. NSA, CIA. What? Yeah. She's got proof. You want to see her? Show me her Twitter account. Like, what are you showing me this for? Just, uh, Just put it away. Official government documents on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Edward Snowden's private number. Right. <laughs> He's been hooking me up with information. Father and I got. Did they get her? We have a time to see them. Hope you wish them. They got her. <laughs> she went peacefully after all. I guess, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I was with um, I was with like a homeless lady, and she needed she was with a service dog, and the shelter will take her. So she finally got a friend that would pay her with for her room. Oh, so I took wow. her to the hotel and dropped her off there. She stayed. She couldn't stay at the shelter because of her service dog. Yeah, they were right. burger dog here. Yeah. It's kind of stupid. It's a service dog. Right? Yeah. Would, pretty much a human being. I wouldn't think they would be allowed to refuse that. Yeah. She had a. Uh, It's <laughs> not real good at wiping, huh? No, yeah. <laughs> the patient had her corner. Yeah. Is that like a higher being very aggressive. certification? It's a, a marksman thing. Unlocked. We can get it too, but they don't provide it to us. We do get it ourselves. As long as you shoot a... Uh, okay, yeah. it's two. It's two out of the 60 shots. Two out of 60. That's good. Marksman. Pretty good, yeah. Are like bullseyes or like just hitting the target in general? Just hitting the target. Oh. It's not terribly That's not hard. so bad, yeah. You believe in ghosts? No. No? Nope. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I do not believe in ghosts. There's no proof of it. To it. Yeah. There's no, no proof to it, so I don't believe that's, it. That's my thing. I'm like... Yeah, yeah. I need some scientific proof. Show me, yeah. Show me something. <laughs> there hasn't been anything yet. <laughs> I was like, uh, we were talking about Snowden. And one of the things I thought was interesting was that when he was hacking the CIA, he was looking for stuff about uh, aliens. Yeah. You know, like there's uh, aliens and UFOs and whatever, and he didn't find anything. I didn't see. And uh, then, what, two, three months later, the White House released uh, three, or four, three or four legit photos of UFOs. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, they just want people to speculate about this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool oh, real. Yeah. I, I'm all about it, but. I gotta see, some I gotta see something, yeah. I ran into a guy that I went to school with like last year sometime. He was telling me about his mother's. His mother's house was haunted, uh -huh. and the uh, every time he would go over and visit uh, his mom, he'd be watching TV with her, and the ghost would be in the kitchen, go through the spice rack and throw the paprika across the room. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what it is. He's like, I don't know what it is about the paprika, but the ghosts are always going for the paprika and they just throw it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> so he became a uh, ordained minister and exercised the. Oh yeah. Exercised it away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, that work? Yeah. So he wanted to uh, want to start a TV show about you know be like ghost hunters. Yeah. But he would go with the ghost hunters and, and exercise the spirits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was riding with Dobson. He told me about how he believes in ghosts. And oh, really? Told me this. Here we go. Told, we me, this, told me this ghost story. Oh, oh got a light out. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Can't let this slide.
need the license registration insurance. It's on your phone. All right. Where are you guys headed? Okay. Is that it right there? Yeah. Can you see me? Don't pull me out. I'll be right back, okay? She looks really nervous. Yeah, it's so Run this. She's a kid in the car. I don't want to search the vehicle just because the kid. Right. I hate doing that to people. If I had drugs in the car with the kid, I'd put it in the kid's dirty diaper. Your incident spot. has been updated. Your incident I don't know why I just thought of that, but... <laughs> says the thing when people... Some people do that when they use their kids as like as a mule. Yeah, try and keep their stuff hidden because they know we don't like because we don't like threatening, like not threatening the youth, but like Your making the, uh, seeing the bad guys to the youth. Mm -hmm. Unknown situation, 728, 728, Stroh Bridge Road, Elk Airport Road. Sounds like something medical. What are we gonna do? No medical situation? Just stay, stay please, God. <laughs> what are we gonna do for an, a sick lady? I don't know. Yeah, they must have been. Be a reason why they're calling you guys. Right? Yeah. An unknown situation. Diabetic. Diabetic. <laughs> Diabetic female vomiting. I need to just collect an assistant from Strollbridge. I was unable to get a hold of him. One fifty seven for coming out to Strollbridge. Ten four. Ten four. Two take these units during route two. We. Or copy and copy one. Here on the radio now. Stand by one. 